From the voice of Honest Trailers, it's Epic Voice Reviews. From the producer of a monster movie that barely showed any monsters, comes another monster movie that shows more monsters than you can throw a tree at. Get ready for a good old fashioned monster brawl with a new, leaner, beefier King Kong, which they call Kong and King, but never King Kong. That's Kong. He's king around here. Prepare to skip all of the boring origin stuff that we already know and go straight into the action. Pulse pounding, visually stunning, a true thrill ride, almost non-stop primal rage action. The opening scene was like an over-the-top parody almost of the kind of movie that Jack Black was trying to make in the last Kong movie. In fact, I thought they were like, oh, this is a joke, they're making a film, but no, it's just really that bad. But it's like Pacific Rim bad. It's still fun and cool, but it's really like not taking itself too seriously. So I didn't mind too much. But other than that scene, it was just great all the way through. And it didn't suck nearly as bad, like story-wise, as Pacific Rim did. So it's a better story and better action, and you get to see a lot more monster fighting, which is what I really wanted to see all along in both Pacific Rim and in Godzilla. I have one minor personal complaint about Kong's design in this movie. It feels more like Caesar on steroids from Planet of the Apes. I kind of like the previous design of Kong. He looked more gorilla-like, and I liked that version better. He even acted more ape-like. This one, he's just literally walking around like Caesar the entire time. And like, where are his balls? I mean, he's standing upright and there's nothing there. Like, maybe that's why he's angry. There were a few dumb things like the seismic mapping bombs. I mean, that was just totally ridiculous. Like that, that technology didn't even exist back then. The design of the skull crawlers lacked imagination. In fact, that was the only thing in the movie that I really didn't like. They just, they're just giant iguanas missing back legs. And the T-Rex fight with King Kong is so iconic in all the Kong movies before. And T-Rex was one of my favorite dinosaurs, and it's just like such a thing, and I felt like this was kind of an homage to that, but not quite as good. However, I kind of give them kudos for not trying, doing the exact same thing that's been done before. I just wish that it had been a different type of monster. However, the rest of the monsters in this movie are really freaking cool. And it was like, whoa, that was awesome. It, it just, in the place where they filmed, like the entire thing is stunning. And the design was really well done for an over the top CG, you know, eye candy fest. It's a great movie. A lot of Samuel L. Jackson callbacks to other things that are Samuel L. Jackson. And I won't go into them because they're spoilers, but as soon as you hear him say them or you see them, you're gonna be like, oh, I know what that's from. There was a lot of epic imagery in this movie that I was not expecting to see in this type film because this is a monster fight film, but the dynamic between Sam Jackson's character and Kong is really cool. Like they do a shot of Kong and they do the same exact shot with, with Samuel L. Jackson's character and you start to see throughout the film who the real monster is and it was like, that was really awesome. This movie compared to other movies like it, like Godzilla, Pacific Rim, it's much more balanced like the humor, the action, and the story. The story is a huge improvement over movies like this before, and it wasn't overdone with humor. I mean, it was a little bit here and there, but it was nice, it was nice and even, which I really enjoyed. I also liked the fact that there was no romance, sex stuff. It just didn't fit in this film. I'm glad that they left that part out. It kind of felt like Pacific Rim and that will they, won't they kind of thing. And they just left that out and just focused on the fact that this is a good old fashioned monster, you know, man versus monster, save the earth kind of story, and, and lots of good old fashioned monster fighting. Want to see more things punching things in the face, man. For you parents who are considering taking your kids to see this, there was a fair amount of language, but you're talking about soldiers from Vietnam and you know how soldiers talk. And there was a lot of violence in this, but most of it was very computer animated, like non-realistic violence. Four stars, an absolute must-see in theaters. Don't watch this on a small screen. Kong Skull Island, rated PG-13. And now it's time for your comments in a world. There, I said it. Happy now? Alpha, teleport to us five overbearing and over-emotional humans. I made Happy Soft. Awaken, my masters. Femputer sentences them to death by Snoo Snoo. Like and share this video with all of your friends. Follow at Epic Voice Guy on all the social things. On YouTube, click my logo to subscribe. Click the box to the left to watch the last video. And click the box to the right for more funny stuff with voices.